back, Wastelanders, to the continuation of my build at Taffington Boathouse. Uh, so far, we have repaired pretty much the entire house here. I do have a few little aesthetics things that I have to do, like the lights and fix some of the railings and fix things like that. But uh, in today's video, we're actually going to be focusing on the fence that's going to go around the entire place. Um, now, I'm going to be making this very, very large. As you can see, like my settlement does go out very, very far from some of the posts that I've put out in place to kind of mark, you can see one over there, <clears throat> where my borders are so that I can build within them. And I'm well aware of the enemy spawn points that are inside this area, so it's not going to stop anybody. But it's purely just for aesthetics. Um, I just do it because it looks good and I don't really care if I get raided or not. <laughs> it's just to have fun and make something that looks nice. Uh, so for the fences we're going to be using Homemaker. Uh, we've been using mostly snappy builds just to repair the house. Now that we're doing the fence we're going to be doing Homemaker and the simple reason for that is because they snap together. Uh, we're going to be using junk fences because that's the kind of fence that I want in place here. Um, let me see. And I think might actually have to go back into my regular build menu down over here because I think I have a fence uh, door. Where are you? Maybe up oh, right there, trunk fence. Um, that will automatically close. There we go, the auto closing one. Um, so we're gonna set this guy right about there for the moment. Let's see how much room do we have. Yeah, bring it over a little bit further. I don't want to go into the area there where that little alley is where those bugs spawn simply because, as I've mentioned in the previous video, they just keep coming back and I don't want to be like right on top of them and kind of create a gap too so that, you know, if you think in real life that people couldn't exactly jump over a fence or anything like that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and I deactivated the surface snap so that I can kind of get this down into the ground so it looks a little more realistic. And we'll give it a little shot and see how it looks. It kind of glitches into the ground a little bit, so maybe I will back it up a little more. We'll go ahead and drop it like right about there. That works. Okay, so now we're going to be going back over to Homemaker. And let's see, nope, I want... Fences, there we go, and my junk fences, there we go, now we're back to these, so, um, as I said, or maybe I just thought I'm going to be using these because they snap together, which makes it very quick and easy to place a whole bunch of fences right where you want them without having to worry about trying to line them up. Now, if you're noticing, I do kind of change them up from one to the other to kind of make this a little more realistic so that, uh, they're not all exactly the same, so it doesn't look so very cookie cutter, I guess you can say. So, we're just going to keep dropping these down in, and I'm just going to keep throwing in all kinds of different random ones. And, uh, let's see, now we'll bring that one down here. And for the water, I'm literally just going to build straight across the water, because why not? I mean, yeah, in real life, people would just be able to swim right under these, but, uh, this is a video game, so it's not really going to make any kind of difference. Go ahead and put that in there. And we'll just keep going straight along, because this is going to be my settlement. Actually, is there a... Nope, no settlement. Uh, no settlement. No settings for just tall fences in there, unfortunately. So we'll just have to kind of play around with what we got. All right, let's put that guy in there. And another one. And go back here. Throw one of these bad boys in there. All right, and so now we are off to the shore, sort of. And as you can see, I can kind of go to about there. Um... We're going to go just a little bit further. Maybe throw in another one of these guys. And let's see. Because the next piece has to be a corner piece. Let's see if I have one here. Uh, that's a fence. That's one of those funky dudes. I might have to use a regular... Let's see. Alright, so we're going to have to go all the way back into... Let's see. USO's got some pretty decent ones. So let's go back into here. And find our fences. Junk fence. Uh, let's see, we have retextures. We have angled ones. They're actually pretty cool. Um, I've used these in the past to make kind of like a lean-to and put a little camping dude underneath there. But uh, for this purposes, we're not going to use that. We're just going to go straight into the retextures. And uh, let's see, these are not the one I'm looking for, not yet. Uh, trying to find a regular stand. There we go, some corner pieces. Now, unfortunately, these aren't as tall as the others, so we can actually kind of double stack up here if we want to. 
and uh, I'm going to even throw in some different textures, and then uh, you kind of end up with something a little along the lines of those guys in there. I might um, throw a guard station or something in here to kind of finagle that. Now I'm going to look at my lineup, and not too bad. So now let's see. None of these snap, right? I don't think... Uh, let me check the regular fences. Maybe some of those do too, because I think some of them can. Um, with some of the mods that I have going on. I don't, don't want the doorways. Uh, here we go. Tall ones. Uh, nope. No snap. Alright. So we're going to go back to Homemaker. And whoop, there we go. Fences. Junk fence. So now this one's not going to snap because there's no snap going between those two. So it's not really that big of a deal. But uh, we'll lower that guy about there. Check our angle. And maybe do a little something like that. And then we'll see. I can always just change it up as I go along. It's not that big of a deal. Same thing with the heights, too. Like, I think some of these two... Well, not at the moment. Um, I have seen in the past where some of them will snap into each other at uh, separate heights. Gotta watch that, too, when you're in the water. It's gonna make you drift and it can suddenly pull you away from where you are. So now, you don't have to do this. I do this whole going back and forth thing simply to make it, like I said, seem a little more realistic. Alright, let's see. So there's our border there. Oops, gotta be careful. Almost exited. Uh, let's see. We are headed kind of that way, so we're gonna take this next one and snap it in place. But then I'm gonna hit the F1 key to kind of change my angle so that I'm headed more the way I want to, because I don't want to keep going towards my post, because then I'm going to get way too close to the border there, and if I want to put other kinds of things in place, it uh, kind of takes away from that. That works. Perfect. Alright, let's put our snap back on. And change up our fence. Let's get above the water here. And continue on. I'll snap a few and see how they look. This is one of the more difficult things with dealing with the water. Um, <laughs> you're going to kind of fall into it. I know there's different console commands, but every time I try to use one that allows me to just like walk wherever I want to walk, um, kind of messes up the whole building thing. So I don't usually use it too often. Okay, put you in there. Let's see. What else? Any other tall ones? Just these weird funky ones that I suppose I could use kind of put something up in there, but I don't really like to use them. I like to build my own. So we'll just go throw some of these in. Alright. And we'll just keep snapping along. And again, let me check my border, see how good we are. Oh, perfect. See, we've got all this gap in here so that if I want to put other further decorations in this area, I can. And then, of course, you see all the way over here, that post there is going to be where I'm going to basically end, so we have all this space all up in here in the water, and on the land back over there, we're going to do the same exact thing. So I have all this potential building areas. So now, if you're not familiar with uh, what I'm going to be doing exactly, um, out here in the water, I'm going to be building a gigantic water purification harvesting type plant to make this into like one big giant, I don't know, trading town in a sense. I'm going to put a whole bunch of houses in here as well. Um, on the land, maybe even a few in the water. We'll see how things go as I build along here. And it's basically going to be like a, a worker's town, I guess you can say. So they built the town right around the plant that they built so that they have some place to to live not too far from where they work. So the same thing is uh, over there. Is that a car? What is that up there? That's weird. I don't know. <laughs> Some sort of weird glitch. Um, I'm going to be doing my corner piece very soon, and I want to try and keep it from getting too close to the border there so that I can build where I want to. Alright, so let's find... Uh, no. Junk fence. Doorways. Short. Yeah, let's get ourselves uh, a couple of corner pieces here again. And we'll s right there. Let me turn you a little bit because I have a feeling. Oh, look at that. I did want to snap. Excellent. What if that one will? Uh, not so much. So we'll just beep, do that. And maybe we can stop drifting so much. That works. Okay. So, let's see. Let's uh, go ahead and exit and do a quick save just to be safe. 
Now we can take a look at our angle here that we might have to finagle a little. Um, no, that might work. We'll, uh, we'll give it a try. Maybe I might turn it just a little bit. Alright, let's get back into Homemaker. Right about here. And then back into fences. Find our junk fences again. Right there. And let's see. So those are going to snap, but it's not going to snap correctly. You can see we have too much of a gap, so I'm going to turn that off real fast. I'm going to kind of overlap these guys, and then I'm going to angle him just a little bit. And see how that looks. Yeah. Alright, we'll go for it. Why the heck not? Okay. And let me turn my snapping back on. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. Okay. So yeah, when you go back and forth when you're snapping, um, if you already have a piece uh, sitting out here like this, um, it won't automatically turn the snapping on for you, so keep that in mind. Now let's see, how are we? Oh, fantastic. Plenty of room, because I have an idea of what I want to do right out in front there, so... Um, I had thought of doing a gate here in the water too, but I think I'm just going to keep this completely closed off. Alright, let's put you there. Let me get myself up a little bit. Put this guy in. And that one. Just keep moving along. Throwing them all in there randomly. I mean, if you want to do all the same pieces, that's perfectly fine with you. Um, like I said, I like to do this because it seems more realistic. So we're just going to keep going along with that. Another one of those. Uh, let's see, one of these bad boys. Throw in a couple of these. Okay, we finally made it to land. I don't have to deal with all that drifting. That can be a pain in the butt. Um, now, as you can see, we have different uh, heights here. So I am going to be making adjustments for that to keep my fences nice and tall as we go along. And I'll show you how I do that. Just put one of these guys in here. Uh, let's see. Snappy, snappy coming. Uh, yeah, that works. So, now all I'm going to do is just kind of do that and just kind of move it up. Um, that's completely up to you how you want to do that. And, uh, makes it easy. You could also use some of the short fences, too, now that we're getting to that kind of height. We could just kind of put a whole bunch of short ones in here. But, don't really need them, so I'll just keep kind of going along. Now, I do need my gate, so let's go back over here. And, whoops, chunk of fence. Uh, where'd you go? There we go, doorways. And we want another auto-close, and I want to put him, again, like right in the middle of my road. Just because I think that looks the best. And go ahead and exit, and I'm probably going to have to lift that up, because that is kind of short at the moment. And it just kind of hits that a little. Not that big a deal, just, you know, OCD-ish. Bring you up a little bit more. Much better. Alright, now let's try you. Fantastic, I can deal with that. Alright, let's go ahead and close that. Since we are out, let's just do a quick save. Now, you can see my fences aren't exactly lined up, so we're just going to kind of finagle this and just kind of... Oh, actually, maybe... Oh, no, definitely going to deal with that. Alright, so we'll turn that off. Oh, it's one of these. That's probably why. Alright, let's get rid of that. Um, put one of these bad boys in here. And we'll just put it on an angle. Of course, that's not a good angle. <laughs> and there we go. Much better. So, now we can continue on. Now we have the telephone pole here that we got to kind of really be careful about because we don't want to be glitching into that. So we're going to kind of place it like right in front of it. And actually having the barbed wire there is probably a good idea in case somebody decided to try and climb the pole. They can't exactly get in here. Not without dealing with barbed wire. So little things like that to kind of think of. Okay, let's see. Where is my border? Let's head out this way so I can see just how far out I can get. Alright, so... Let's, um... Can't build there. Or there. Or there. There we go. So now we know where our outside border is, so I'm going to actually bring it in just a little bit more, just so I have a little more space out here. And let's check our angle. I don't want to go... Actually, we have a funky angle, because I can still build up there. I'm seeing one of my posts up there. So, I'm actually going to try and angle this guy straight for that one, if I can. As much as possible. So, we'll just put that there for now. That gives us some idea of what uh, what we're doing. 
All right, let's see. Back into these. these some of these snap and some of these don't. It's really weird. Um, but we'll just go back into Homemaker. Make our lives a little easier. Okay, back to fences. Find our junky fences. And we'll just start plopping these in again. Bring him down just a little bit so it looks a little more realistic. And now we need a corner piece. You don't necessarily have to use the corner pieces. I just like to because they're already there. And, uh... Look just like what I want, so let's let's see. Short corner. And we'll build you up, see, about there. And again, these don't have to necessarily be perfect. I mean they are junk fences, so it's not that big a deal. And again, we don't really care too much about these things sticking out because I do like to put guard posts in my corners there, so and uh even if we have a funky looking angle like this coming out on the outside, who cares? Again, it's a junk fence, just you know, plop them in there. Actually, I'm gonna... Do that, because... That would bug me. Because then somebody could just stick a gun through the fence and just shoot at you. We don't want that. Okay. Now, let's uh, continue on. Let's get back out of here. Back into home wrecker. And let's start snapping again. Or maybe not. Oh, that's right. That's not a snappy fence. That's why. Okay. So we're going to kind of try and finagle this to be as close as possible. And did I turn snapping off? Oh, I did. That's probably why. Okay. Try again. There we go. And let's see. Bring him up a little bit higher because now our landscape is changing as well. I'm going to watch our angle as well. Yeah, see right now I'm facing a little too much that way. So let's turn the snapping off. Bring it in here. Make sure... Closed, and let's see. That might work. Okay. Let's give that a shot for a little bit. So now if you find yourself that you're constantly kind of going off towards where you're trying to head, um, don't be afraid of just turning snap off and changing your angles and whatnot. So you just kind of kind of do what you want to do. Gonna see, we might even take this rock and put that in there like that. Now that looks much, much better. We don't have all that gap underneath there. So that's why sometimes I leave some of these things behind just so that I have them to play with if I need to. All right, let's go ahead and put the snap back on and start throwing a bunch of these in. Now you can see we're starting to get a little on the short side, so now I'm gonna actually start bringing these in a little bit higher. There we go. But of course now our land is dropping a little bit, so you're going to have to kind of finagle these sometimes. Um, let's put one of these dudes in. And we'll turn snap off just for that. There we go. And yeah, I'm still headed pretty good, and I still have quite a bit of land here to build on, so not that big a deal as to being perfect. Of course now our landscape's changing again a little bit. Snap. Oops, I already had it on. Dummy. Alright, let's see. Let's put one of these guys. I really do like the ones the with the barbed wire the most, because um, they're the most realistic and practical. I mean, if I was building a giant fence like this, that's you know, one thing I'd be searching for or trying to make on my own. It's as much barbed wire as I possibly could. Alright, let's see. Another one of those guys. And so you see we're not exactly all the way up to the border, but it's good to kind of leave yourself a little bit of a buffer zone. Um, especially if I'm going to be putting in all kinds of extra protection on the outside, which I might do for the whole thing and I might not. We'll see as we go along. Alright, let's put one of these dudes. And I'll go back to one of you guys. And I just try to be as random as possible. And uh, especially when I get to these shorter ones too, I try to put as much barbed wired ones as possible so it looks, again, as realistic as I can get it. Alright, so now we're going to come back over here start building from this side so that I can kind of match things up to where I'm going to be for my corner. I mean, you see, we're pretty close. Go ahead and put you there. And again, we want to be underneath the wires there just to keep it looking as nice as possible. Put another one of those guys. Now we're getting to a point, too, where the ground's getting a little low, so we're going to make an adjustment as high as possible on that one, right about there. 
because we have that land just keeps changing on me. All right, now let's put in corner piece. Strong fence, short. And we got our corner almost there. So we're just going to go ahead and put this guy in here like that. And that'll work too, because I can always fill in my own kinds of rocks or something in this area to make that look a little more um, realistic. And our last tall piece, and boom, our fence is done. Well, okay, not quite. <laughs> we have to make some adjustments here. Uh, let's see, let's twist you just like that. And there we have it. We have our border around the entire place. So now we know exactly how much room we have to build. Oh, there's my character. If you've never seen my character for this one, uh, I had to switch over from one character to another, um, one game save to another, because my last one became corrupted, as I mentioned before. So, let's see. Oh, yes, I want to confirm that. Now that we have that, so one of the ideas I was thinking about of doing outside the water... Uh, let's see, we can add this, go all the way back to... Uh, let's see, defense and guard posts. Um... I have several different guard post mods going. Uh, more fortifications is one of them, um, which gives you like all these kinds of cool things like this. Um, and there's uh, sandbag fortifications as well. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. But we are looking for. We have these for the wherever we can put in place, which are decent, but again, not what I'm looking for. And got big bad things like this if you're doing a big giant military installation, which uh, at some point we will be. But I am looking for my spiky thingies. Um, we also have uh, different versions of these guys, too, that you can put into place. Uh, let's see. This one here. Um, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So, like, something like this, like when I'm talking about for my corners, I would probably just, like, glitch this up into here like that. And then fill in... Um, ladders and platforms leading up to it. So for now, we're just going to kind of leave that as that. We will finagle that later, but I want... Where are you? Come on. Eh, we got barbed wire. These bad dudes here. So. For the water and whatnot, we can go ahead and put a whole bunch of these out here. Oh, geez, I'm under attack. I hear it. Where are you? There you are. Actually, one cool thing you can do... That. You can scrap them right in the middle of them bugging you while you're trying to build so you don't have to worry about trying to fight them. Isn't that fantastic? But of course, that made me lose my place, and so now we got to go through all of these all over again. Get to my spiky thingies. Where are you? Oh, you got bunkers in here too. You can build a whole entire bunker, which I have used before. And we're going to put a whole bunch of these bad dudes out here. Going straight across the water, I think, just because you know, if somebody's trying to do a sneak attack... From uh, a boat or something. This makes it a lot harder. And we'll just kind of keep them looking as realistic as possible. There's, uh, let's see, I think... Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of different shapes, too, so that we can just kind of do this type of thing. I mean, normally you'd see this, like, in the ground, but I'm putting it in here because it's my build, and I can do whatever I want. So we're going to go ahead and pop a whole bunch of these in. Be careful that you don't get outside your build. Now, if you are using place anywhere, you can turn off the timer there so that you don't have to worry about being right outside the border and having it mess things up on you. Uh, let's see. Let's finagle another one of these dudes. Oh, we do have a gap in there. Uh, let's see. Let's turn my snapping off real fast. Oops, it was on. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's try that again. Let's see. We'll take you and... Whoop, whoop, whoop. How's that? Mucho better. Okay. Onward. Um, if you wanted to, you could do this all around the whole entire place. I mean, it's completely up to you. I may or may not. I mean, for now, we're just kind of doing it along here because, I don't know. I mean, not exactly going to get a boat in here like the other spot, but whatever. It's extra protection. Eh, there's another one. Yeah, let's see. Now these, again, I don't really care how they fit into things as long as they, you know, serve their purpose. Which, I mean, if you look at it, a distance would come on up here. There we go. It's fine. I mean, once you turn that off, you can't really see them too much into the water. So, 
not that big a deal. And that's completely up to you. I mean, if you want to... Oh, I'm outside. That's right. There we go. Now I'm back in. Um, and, of course, I lost my place. So again, that's completely up to you if you wanted to make them look better or whatever. You know, it's your design. You do whatever you want. Uh, there we go. We got them back now. So maybe we'll switch over to some regular barbed wire since we're near some land here. Kind of go right around in here because we can and why not? Who cares, right? This is your world, your universe. You can do whatever you want. And we'll go back to some of these. Maybe we found some more dead trees to hack up or something. <clears throat> and I hadn't planned to go around the entire place, but whatever. Uh, no, that's fine. All right. These won't exactly keep out the bugs, but looks cool. And boop, pop that in there. Oh no, I didn't want that. Wrong one. There we go. Thought I heard one spawn. Not yet. That's good. Alright. Now if some of those spawn points are actually in your settlement area, you can scrap them. Um, but unfortunately that's not really in our area, so there's not really a whole heck of a lot I can do about them. So we're just going to kind of ignore them. Skip over our gate here. Throw in some more. Again, this comes in handy. I mean, it's a little hard because of our um, elevation changes here and all, but again, it does come in handy as to, you know, real life protection. I mean, you know, here, standing here, like you can see inside the thing, but you can't get too close. And again, I'm going to have guard towers um, at each corner and then probably like, you know, every quarter of the way down the wall or something, so we'll have protection. And that, I don't like the looks of that. There we go. That's better. Try to at least keep the posts down in there as much as possible. Moving along. And again, I don't like to keep them, like, totally straight either. I'm just throwing these in at whatever funky angles. Just kind of making them fit. No big deal. And if you wanted to double lap these two, you could even go as far as twisting these into place so that they match up with some sections of wood or something so that now you got a whole little extra line there because why the heck not? So don't be afraid to experiment with stuff like that. Another one there. A little bit closer. Oh! There we go. We're like right on the border here so you gotta be careful. Now if you can't place something like that on the border, place it inside the border then pick it back up and then boom you can place it. That's one of the fantastic things about place uh, anywhere, place everywhere. Alright. What are you guys? Yeah, see, that one I can't do either, so we'll stick him up there. And now we'll put him here, and it works. Just throw these in wherever. And we got, let's see, our telephone pole. Ah, that works. Um, that's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll stick you right about there. And there. And now we are at the end. Let's, uh, let's see, maybe we can finagle the piece like that. Make it look like it's in place. And boom! There we go. We have our entire fence border all finished. Um, yeah, not too bad. Gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. So we got our gate here, and we got uh, all kinds of space to, to build in, so you can see just how big this entire settlement is going to be. Um, pretty much all across the street there is going to be a bunch of houses. I might put another one or two up in here, and then majority of that water is going to be the plant. And we're also going to be tackling the other side building over here at some point. Uh, once I figure out what the heck I'm going to do with that, might be in living space, might be garden, maybe I might do uh, hydroponics. I've done that before where I've turned this into like a grow place and put a whole bunch of plants and whatnot like directly into the water and put some uh, grow lights and maybe we'll maybe we'll reproduce that. We'll see. But uh, that'll be coming up in the next video. Um, I'm going to be trying to do these videos uh, pretty much every Monday. 
So you guys can look forward to that. Um, I do have a fairly busy work schedule, so I'm going to try and fit these in as often as possible, and that's why they're all kind of short and only 30 minutes, give or take, at a time, um, just so I can try to fit them into my schedule. So uh, there we go. Um, you guys got any other suggestions of something you might want to see here, along with my houses and my water production plan, um, feel free to leave it in the comments below, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Until next time, don't get irradiated. <laughs>